Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at this uh, Redmi 5A by Xiaomi and this is a budget oriented uh, smartphone and uh, this would be replacing the Redmi 4A. This is the Redmi 4A that was launched uh, just this March. Uh, so I'm surprised to see that they have now launched the Redmi 5A and in fact it is very similar to this one but let's have a look at the same. And here at the back it gives us some specs that it's powered by the Snapdragon 425 chipset uh, which is a quad core processor. Uh, and uh, it comes in actually two variants, uh, two gigabyte RAM or three gigabyte RAM. With the two gigabyte RAM model, we get uh, 16 GB of internal storage. And uh, uh, with the, what do you say, a three gigabyte uh, RAM model, we get 32 GB of internal storage. And here again, it says made in India. It should be technically assembled in India. Uh, so yeah, anyways, so it just says Redmi 5A over here. Let's just open this up. And as you can see, this is the device itself. Let's just take it out. And this is in that gold uh, color finish that we are getting. And we have this, let's take this out. I'll just keep the handset to the side for now. We'll come back to this uh, later and we'll also compare it with the Redmi 4A. And uh, some paperwork and stuff that you're getting and uh, warranty info and other stuff. So that's what you're getting in that. and. Uh, SIM ejector tool, we also get the power brick, it's surprisingly big for uh, this phone and uh, uh, it is a normal uh, charger guys with the output of 5 volts at just 1 amp, not even 2 amps, that is very surprising and SIM ejector tool and micro USB to USB cable, so let's keep this thing to the side and uh, let's have a look at the handset itself as you can see this is the handset itself and uh, it's slightly it's very similar to this one i would say uh, the corners are uh, slightly more rounded on this one that's what i've noticed uh, initially but yeah so on the back we have the camera speaker and it surprisingly says made in India. Actually, it should be assembled in India. Anyways, uh, so yeah. On the top, we have the 3.5 mm headphone jack. Uh, we are still having the IR blaster, which is a nice thing. I like that Xiaomi devices have that. We have the volume rockers and power on off button. It feels like it's metallic guys, but it no, it's not. It is plastic coated. This entire rim is actually plastic coated. This is not metallic. Uh, micro USB port main microphone and uh, we have actually two slots over here that is an interesting change so here your uh, sim card will go sim 1 will go and your micro SD card will go and they have one more slot this is for your main uh, uh, it says SIM 2. So dedicated uh, two SIM cards you can put and a, a SD card uh, on this micro SD card. So that's a nice thing. And uh, let's just try to boot this up now. Let's do the first boot for the same. And give me haptic feedback. And by the time it boots up and I set it up, let me give you a configuration overview. This Redmi 5A has a 5-inch 720p HD screen. It is powered by the Snapdragon 425 chipset, which is a quad-core processor clocked at 1.4 GHz. It has the Arduino 308 GPU. It comes in two variants, 2 GB RAM and or 3 GB of RAM. It's a dual SIM with dedicated micro SD card slot. Moving to the camera, it has a 13 megapixel rear-facing camera and a 5 megapixel front-facing camera. And it has a 3000 mAh battery. So I've just finished uh, setting up this device again as uh, expected the typical Mi UI that you're getting. Uh, so if you have used any Xiaomi device, uh, you should be familiar with this. It has the auto brightness sensor and it also has that Mi remote uh, that you're seeing. Let's see what Android version you're getting and it has already found an update. Let's just go to the settings and uh, about the phone. Uh, as you can see, it's running on the Android version 7.1.2. Two, and it's running on me UI uh, 9.1 so that's a new thing uh, so but still Android uh, nougat that we are getting and still these back buttons that is back home and multitasking tray 
uh, are not backlit and as you can see the one that we are having right now is the two gigabyte ram variant and on that one out of that uh, 16 gigabytes only 8.87 gigabytes is available so i would say uh, this much internal storage is actually pretty low uh, so if you are planning to purchase this device off for the three gigabyte ram uh, variant because internal storage though it has a dedicated uh, micro sd card is a lot important for many apps but anyways that's what we have um, and again typical uh, you, uh, xiaomi ui google apps are uh, pre-installed as you can see and uh, let's just go back this is the multitasking tray let's so pretty simple uh, interface that we are getting and uh, we also have some microsoft apps that are pre-installed so that is a new thing and yeah some third party uh and just accept that apps so uh, again the performance should be very similar to the redmi 4a because the processor is almost the same on this one again uh, this one also does not have any fingerprint uh, scanner so if you want fingerprint scanner you have to opt for some higher variants of the redmi phone sadly no fingerprint scanner even on this one and uh, let's just uh, try to now uh, fire up the camera again i don't expect a lot with the camera because it's a basic device and xiaomi is not famous for its uh, camera let's be frank about that but we have that tap to focus but i immediately notice that the exposure uh, as you notice right now it's decent exposure but if you tap in the exposure is actually going a little bit crazy you have to adjust it like this if you hit the tap to focus but anyways here are some of the snaps that i have taken with this uh, redmi 5a around my office so that you can get a very quick and rough idea regarding its uh, camera performance before we move ahead here is a word from sponsor of this video that is cashify are you looking to buy this device or any other smartphone? Then sell your old mobile and laptops on Cashify.in to unlock the best market price. Check out Cashify.in to encash your phone in less than 60 seconds. So guys, that's it for now for this unboxing and uh, first look at this Redmi 5A. So what do you think about this uh, Redmi 5A? Do share your thoughts in the YouTube comment section uh, below. And if you have any other specific questions, again, do post them in the comment section and I'll try to include them in the other videos that I post about this Redmi 5A. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.